Hi, welcome to KTV5 video tutorial. I want to make a short series about the trim or split commands in all the programs. And obviously I'll begin with KTV5. So I've got four geometrical sets, one with the surfaces, one with the sketches and outputs, one for my trims, one for my splits. And I changed the graphical properties of this geometric set to magenta. So if I do a split or trim, the resulting new surface will be inside the geometric set and it will get a magenta color. So it's easy to recognize which side will be deleted and which one not. So let's start with the split command. So let's go here, go for the split. And I want to split this surface here. Make sure nothing's selected. Yeah, that's sort of crazy. Seems something was selected. So let's try once more. Go for split, select the surface. Now it works. And let's select this one. Now the resulting split and new surface will be this one. And I could switch. To the other side. Okay, let's go to this side. Then I want to split it this surface with that one. And again, I could change the side. If I go to extrude 2 and change the side, other side, I will get this one. Yeah, depending on which element is selected here, you can change the sides. So first change it back over here then go here and change it back to there. Now I want to split it with that plane. So now I can switch between those two sides. Or I could go to my extrude 1, switch the sides, go back here and switch the sides. Or even go back here and switch to the side. Go here, switch to the other side. So depending on which element you select here, you can switch the sides. Let's cancel this out. Please note, I can't split that surface with a curve which is not lying on that surface. So if I try this, I want to split this surface with that curve, that will not work. So in Katia, in order to split a surface with a curve, the curve has to be on that surface. So you should also notice, if you use that split command here, if you split this surface with that one, it extends the surface linear. So this must or need not to be the same size as the surface I want to split. Okay, now for curves, same operation. Let's hide the surfaces and let's split this curve with those two. So go for the split, select the curve, select the next one and then again you can switch the sides. So the orange one is the one which will be created. So it will delete this side. I could add this one. And again, I can switch sides. I select here and switch sides. Same as with surfaces. Let's cancel this out. And let's take a look at the trim command. Now I want to Take a look at the trim command. Therefore, I activated that trims geometrical set, which has a green color applied. So the resulting surfaces will be in green. So let's take a look. I want to trim. That's the trim command. I want to trim this surface with that surface. So that's the first selected. That's extrude 3. And that's the second selected, extrude 2. And now I can switch both sides. So extrude 2 was this surface. If I select this one, I can 
switch the sides of extrude 2. If I go for other side next element, I will again switch this side here. Yeah. Okay. And of course, it's automatic extrapolated, so those surfaces need not be the same size, so it will extend it in a linear fashion. Now, let's trim this one with that one. So go here, and now I can switch sides again. So which one is this one? That's the last one. So it's that side, previous element. But if I go here to extrude 2 and switch sides, I can switch the sides here. Same as with the split command. Very, very similar. So go here, switch sides. Go there, switch sides. And now I can, of course, trim with that surface. So that would be the wrong one. So if I go to other side next element, I can switch this down or this to the inside. And let's confirm. And that's the resulting surface. Maybe undo that. Control Z. Now for curves, it's a little bit different. Maybe hide those surfaces. So in order to trim these curves, go for trim, switch from standard to pieces, and then you can trim those curves. And you cannot switch sides. You have to select the side which you want to keep. So if I want to trim that curve, and I will select it here, so this part will be not deleted. This will be deleted, that will be deleted, so let's go here. Then select this curve. If you select it here, this will stay, or this that will stay. So go here. And if you go here, so this will stay. Of course, you can remove and select it like this, for example. And remove that one. Shift and select it once again, bring it back like this, and this will be the resulting curve. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Hope it was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more short ones, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook FM page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.